It's time to build your fleet and command the next great star empire. The next installment for the highest rated 4x space RTS game is coming to Steam very soon. This is Sims of the Solar Empire 2 and the actual first game was one of my most favourite RTS games I've ever played. I've spent countless hours in Sins of the Solar Empire 1, I guess we're calling it now, um, playing many, many mods here and there. Now, Sins of the Solar Empire 2 is on the horizon for Steam. I have got an exclusive preview, thanks to Stardock, the developers of the game. They reached out to me, they found some of my content, mainly where we're playing mods of the original game, and said, Jack, we think you'd be great to test this game and probably get killed by the AI, so come along and test it. So that's exactly what I'm doing. Join me as we check out Sins of the Solar Empire 2. Okay, I'm Captain Jack. If you like my videos, hit that subscribe button. But we're going to jump straight into the game. Let's see. Colliding Empires, beware the orbits. So one of the new mechanics for Sims of Solar Empire 2 is it does have dynamic orbits. I guess we can call them that. Essentially, they move. A bit like how planets in the current solar system do. Of the Earth is not always in the same place. It will move around the sun. Here in Sims, or Sims 2 should I say, the same thing happens. So essentially, there's a good guide here. Do you wall up your home fleet to weather the storm, broker a deal with an impending neighbor, or race to secure a foothold near the star? We've got to think about tactics. Um, let's have a look. I'm going to play as TC. The Trader Emergency Coalition was originally created a deal with a Versailles threat. By utilizing her economic power, the TC have managed to survive by being industrious and adaptive. Or we've got Versailles. The once mighty empire of countless worlds, Versailles have been traveling for 10,000 years to escape some unknown terror. Now in trader space, They've been embroiled in a long war. Uh, so it looks our only two options at the minute are Tech and uh, Vasari. So I know many are asking about the Advent. Hopefully they'll be coming down the line at a later date, which would be very cool. All right, we can leave all these others to random and we're just going to jump in and play the game and see what happens. That was some nice art there. Unfortunately, my PC loaded too quickly. We couldn't actually see. Now, I remember most of my original Sims training. We need to colonize planets. And also, this is a big star system. Wow, okay. We've got a lot to be working with here. So it looks like our scouts are already set to automatic and are going out. These models look very nice. Little scout ships there. Just remind me of something from maybe Halo and Star Wars combined, but good luck to that one. Can we see the FTL? Ooh, that looks amazing. I am a sucker for good FTL graphics. Oh, and that looks beautiful. Very nice. What have we got all of a sudden? Yeah, loot discovered. Something else. Okay, apparently we've discovered loot somewhere. Is it in here? Oh, it is. That, that looks ominous, doesn't it? What the hell is that? Um, okay. Derelict loot. Collect this covered loot by moving a capital ship nearby. Right, so we need to build a capital ship. Our scout may survive going through that. I'm not quite sure. Our capital shipyard should be this one. Let's see. We need one of the ships that is going to have a colony thing on it. My always strategy for the first capital ship I build, and usually the only first capital ship you can build in some of the original mods, usually has a colony or colonized. There we go. So the Akan battlecruiser can colonize. Probably the only one. Yep, so we're going to build that one. We're now going to build some frigates and such. So it looks like starting out, we've only got a couple of options. We are going to build a Cobalt Light Frigate. Let's build nine of those. I'm going to bankrupt myself early on and build those. So, All right, next up, we need to build some orbital stations. So I'm thinking civic research would be a good start and military. There we go, both of those down. I would also quickly build an auto turret or an auto cannon over here, essentially because we know the enemy is probably going to come and try blow me up at some point. Now it's going to take getting used to and how to manage all the new systems, as there's a lot of stuff going on. Can we just press survey? Oh, we can. Okay, that's helpful. So we can also probably build ground structures as well. But it looks like we can build. Okay, we can do something. Civic university or civilian research points too. Or we can do military research points too. Mm, I don't know. Let's build military outposts. I feel like that's the best option. Speaking of research, we should have a couple of things in here. So it looks like we're already on military one, but we're insufficient credits. What I am going to do, because I'm showing this to you on a showcase video of the different features and such, is I want to speed the game up a little bit. So we'll go over here, we'll go to 1.50. And we'll see how the game handles that. Where do you need right, our capital ship is online. Oopsies, come here. We're underway. There we go. We'll let the rest of our fleets be built so far. This is Let an interesting model. It's very nice. What it essentially is, this is a battle cruiser. So it kind of makes sense. But is that like little fighters docked in there as well? That's kind of cool. Those might be the colony ships. I don't know. 
Right, so our rest of our ships are being built. Two more to be constructed there, and we should be good to go. Uh, have we built this so far? Oh, no, we're building it now. That should unlock the first, like, I guess, tier of military stuff for us. Uh, but we need more credits for our civilian infrastructure. So I think this time around, yeah, orbital extraction is locked behind research. It's locked behind research number two, which is a little annoying. It's going to slow us down a little bit. Where do you need me? Right, these ships are online. Let's see. What have we got nearby? This is probably the best thing to colonize. Plan. Deploy the fleet here. Deploy the fleet. There's also another asteroid there, so that could be our next target, because it's a bigger planet here. As we can see, East Valk Front has got three flak frigates, seven oh, light frigates, cruisers, and north frigates as well. So that's going to be a lot to deal with. Right, our frigates are immediately in the system. Let them have it. Fire attack in that. Right, our battle crew is already rolling in. I want to try and kill this flak frigate, or as a siege frigate first. This is the East Valk Front. Our battle cruiser looks massive. Look at that. I'm loving the shield effect as well. Look when it gets hit. The graphics of the shield hits are amazing. Immediately, like, while we're checking out Vanilla Sins of the Solar Empire 2 gameplay here, what I immediately think of is the modding potential with this game. It is going to be amazing to see what modders can actually do with it. I mean, look at all these new graphics. Right, we can now... I presume these are, like, planet slots, so this is kind of new. Um, Spinal Economics Lab or Secret Weapons Lab. But we can only build one of these because it cannot be combined with the other one. Let's do Economics because I'm going to kind of want that. Oh no, why is our construction frigate here? What are you doing here? Why is our construction frigate came over? <laughs> I might have selected that by accident. What do you mean you cannot phase jump? How are you even here? Oh no, you have a local one, aren't you? I thought this, like, had come with us on the fleet Where for a second. Brace for combat. In and head Apparently we can capture that. So what's this? I've got the option of buying broadcast or trade port. Let's do that. We should be able to build some, like, props up, shouldn't we? So in... Insufficient credits to build that. How much do we need? Okay, well, we can come back to that in a minute. As I'd want to build a trade port. For myself, my early gameplay of Sins is always about, um, what now? like, getting the most value out of my planets. So I think my plan is we'll come back around to the home planet here, then make our way up to this one, just so we can capture those asteroids. We're going to need more of a fleet to actually attack the other planets. That's something to think about. Right, our fleet are on the move. They've arrived in this sector. What now? Yeah, come on, you guys, start come taking this guy out. There's a lot of stuff immediately being fired at us. Oh, these are cruisers. We've got cruisers in the sector. I didn't realize cruisers are here. But I think we're firing missiles at us. Where is our capital ship? Is it on its way? It is on its way. The battle cruiser's arriving. Got a job for me? How can I be of service? Secure the passengers. Reporting in. Right. What now? Let's get uh, them down here to help with this. I'm on it. We look like we're about to take some damage. Let's turn on the cinematic camera. I think our PDC is just intercepted about. It is trying to fire missiles at us, but our PDCs are intercepting. That's handy. These are nice designs of the local factions as well. One almost got through there. Oh, it's gone. Nothing is standing away of our little battle cruiser. Right, that's online. Let's get our ships on the move. Right, I trust our little corvettes are going to take out the siege frigate because that's going to come in. Yep, it's already attacking the planet. We're going to park our uh, battle cruiser here as it can deal with the derelict loot. Off my options here. I have once again got experimental economics lab or secret weapons lab. Let's build that. Because that's quite helpful. It appears more of these things I build, more give points for the next thing. Ah, oh, see, now we can actually unlock this one. That's helpful. We should do that soon. But I need more civilian points to unlock stage two. Because we need orbital extraction. So let's do something that's going to do us into civilian uh, research or civic research. There we go. I'm also going to put a trade port down here as well. These structures are quite big, I'm going to be honest. Planet development finished. They look really good. Right, Planet so our fleet is ready. Got a job for and 
now we can choose what we do next. I want to, like, buff out the fleet search. To be fair, we should start seeing trade ships starting to go around now. Because we've got a trade station here. There we go. They're on the way, look. Little trade ships. They kind of look nice. The little flatbed trade ship. Like, it looks like hangar doors at the front there. They're kind of cute. I like them. It would be cool if it actually went into the hangar bay. That would be nice. I'm not sure if it's going to. It looks like, yep, it's just refueled and turned around. Eh, you know, it, it does the job. We don't need to do much else. <laughs> it would have been nice, though, but I don't think we can get much out of that. Uh, logistics, let's put another slot into there. Because I would kind of like another research station. Uh, and defense would be good to spec into as well shortly. But we can unlock another one of these in a minute. I think I'll put another civic station down. Mainly so I can now unlock stage two. But insufficient credits. So we need to wait for them to build up. It's not too bad. How is our home planet doing? We've got a lot of stuff going on here. Even this new building as well. This is a retrofit bay. So I presume we can upgrade ships later on. I'm not sure how. But I guess it also works as a repair bay maybe. Research and build orbital extractor structures to acquire them. Okay, cool. So, is that an... Uh... Okay, right. So, we need that. Interesting. How many points does it take out? Oh, it takes up one. That's a bit annoying. Kind of works. But if we spec into this, it now unlocks them. So, that's quite good. Because we need to look into our civilian stuff and pay for this. There we go. Now we're going to need 600 credits to get the orbital extraction. Everything costs money in this universe. So here we can see a bit of like the shifting orbit. So I'm not sure if they're online yet. I think they do it over time. You can see there's a line there which shows this is eventually going to move over to here. This is going to move that way. So it looks like everything will move that way eventually. Also, the music just changed there. I'm not sure how. <laughs> that was kind of freaky. Will you still rename the planet? I'm not sure if we can. How do I rename it? we not rename it anymore? Maybe we can't. Oh, no, I can. It's literally done there. I'm so blind I miss that. Let's call it Icarus. There we go. One thing I don't know how to do is create a fleet. Where do you need me? Negative buffs, positive buffs, trade port, defense. Yeah, there used to be a button around here for creating a fleet. Exotic salvage policy. Ooh, okay. Open ship advance actions. Rotate. Toggle skull. We can blow them up, which is good. But I'm not sure how I create a fleet. Oh, it's an empty ship slot item. Yeah, ship slot I'm item. Be of service. What now? What else can we put here then? Radiation bomb fires radio shell of target enemy ship, causing a nearby enemy to dealt damage over time. Armor patch kit. Oh, let's stick a radio. Oh, no, it's going to cost me that many credits. Maybe we won't do that just yet. Maybe we'll faff around with other stuff later on. So now we need orbital extraction. There we go. Rapid hydrometallurgy. New chemical solvents, leach, valuable metals, and one more, uh, from all more quickly, not one more. I'm so bad at reading. Further improving metal income from mining. Hmm. That would be helpful. Trade ship sensors. All trade ships equipped with advanced sensors to provide detection for your empire. That's helpful. Uh, I kind of want that because I'm nosy. Modular architecture. Ooh, that could be helpful. There's a lot of stuff. Oh, this scrolls down? Wow, there's a lot of stuff. Okay. We should be able to lock the military too in a second. I kind of want to focus on civic stuff just right now. As the more stuff we get here, the better. Shockwave pulverization. Pulverization. Ooh, that's a... I don't know what... Like, it's not that late when I'm recording this. It's about quarter to six in the evening. And apparently I've lost the ability to speak English. Right, we should... Ah, okay, cool. Now we can actually do crystal extractors. But we don't have enough logistics. That's kind of annoying. Oh, if only I had more power on the logistics there. But I can upgrade these planets. So, mining. Oh, I need to upgrade mining. Oh, I need more mining. I should just spec it out of defense and go into there. There we go. Our little base over here is becoming powerful already. Do I have any options over here? I do have a couple of slots Research still. Complete. We can do mining here. And I've got to have some more credits to get access to that. Planet development finished. There we go. Wissenfell? Wissenfell? I don't know how you pronounce that. I do have a look at these trade stations. They are looking very, very cool. I mean, let's look at that. I will say the graphics in Sins 2 is actually very nice. Even the little effects of, like, the smoke pouring out, or, like, I don't know, you just call it venting, I guess, isn't it? And you've got the civic ones over there. 
is really, really nice looking. Also, the planets have been improved. The actual star systems look great. I'm hoping to do some multiplayer content on this soon, so we can see how things pan out. That would be very fun. Right, more research is being completed here. Oh, we've unlocked more stuff. We've got carrier cruisers unlocking. Black frigates. A lot of stuff unlocking here. Iron will. Nice, okay. How about our civilian research? A lot more stuff here. Fulfillment warehouse. Provides an additional export point to planet. Ooh, that's going to be helpful. Well, let's spec into that. All of this stuff is very helpful. We've also got policy as well. We might need to unlock more policy stuff at some point. Also, I'm kind of glad the game time is up here in the top. Sure like, just above my mouse. 26, 54. You can see how long I've been playing this for. Which means also, as I skip through this and cut bits, you can see how long I've waited around to do something. Sure. Right, I've got more credits to play around with now. That, what is this down here? I was another construction frigate. What else can we build around here then? We've got more orbital constructors in there. We can build a broadcast center. Look at the planets as well. We've got the detailed air thing going around it. That's kind of cool. Complete. I like that. Uh, what else can we build? So we've got all these upgrades. We could build another trade port maybe? Oh no, maybe we don't want to build that. Build a broadcast station. Let's spread my message of absolute terrible stuff to the stars. <laughs> because that's definitely going to go well. <laughs> uh, and we of course upgrade logistics again, can't we? There we go. Which would allow me to build another trade port. Or I could build an exotic Research refinery. Completed. That's kind of helpful. Let's do another trade port. Now we've definitely ruined our economy. Because that's how it goes. What's over here then? Our last intel was... I reckon we can take that. Assemble the fleet. Give the order. Development Sound plan. Sound plan. We upgraded Icarus now as well. I really wish these guys would jump in unison. We don't want to jump together. Fine, send the Corvettes early on. Uh, right, what do we got over here in terms of shipbuilding? Uh, build ships. What else have we got? Have we got no extra stuff here? Okay, we need exotics. Research I'm not sure how we get exotics at the minute, but that's something to look into soon. Got more research being equipped over here. That's more exotics required as well. Of course, we need to find exotic minerals somewhere. I will presume this comes under part of this. It's somewhere in here. But it seems to require a lot of exotics for certain stuff. A level's gained experience? on the capital ship. Reporting in. There's a lot of fire going on over here. Secure the passengers. But we seem to be putting a good fire. That battleship's holding rather well. So civilian, it's because of the yeah, it's volcanic colonization. We're gonna need that. Research complete. Geothermal smelter, that's gonna be helpful. Strike carriers are going as well. Up, These do look really up. nice. They just deployed their fighters immediately. Battle Cruise is looking epic over there. The shield damage inputs on this are still one of my favorite parts of this mod. Not mod. The shield damage parts in this are still one of my favorite parts of Sins of Solo Empire 2. Just because the shield hits look amazing. I really hope when modders get advantage of this game, they really take it. Oh my god, that's a lot of ships. I didn't realize there's so many ships here. Uh oh. How can I be of service? Eh? Oh no, our shields are down. Where do you need me? Research complete. What now, Commander? Well, time to retreat. A sound plan. <laughs> Let's get out of here. The battleship, which I was talking a lot about, is now taking a lot of damage. His guns look really cool, though. We are just zooming past this thing right now. Is that a trade ship? To be fair, what we were doing it. Cancel phase jump. Bring us back around. Target that ship. Right, we need primordial colonization. I don't even know if we have it unlocked. 
Where's primordial colonization? Oh, there it is. Literally number one. I oh, I can queue these. That's really helpful. So on my queue, I can just move stuff in which works. So like that. That's actually really helpful. Finally, we can queue stuff here. Awesome. I love it. <laughs> Show me more. <laughs> All right. What else we got in here now? Uh, battlefield promotions. Javelin's prototype. I want that. That looks amazing. Grant's flak turrets to hang a defense structure. Oh, we'll have those. Heavy fallout. That's a siege frigate. Starbase beams. I don't have the resources to build star bases. That's annoying. But I want star bases. Uh, garrison expansion. We'll have that. I don't have any of these rare alloys. I'm not sure how to get those, so. Where are you going? Ahead slow. I need the capital ship to come here. I have equip anything to you. I can equip uh, the rapid autoloader. There we go. Give you the radiation bomb and the armor patch kit. There we go. That thing's now got everything you could possibly want. Why is there trade ships a part of this armada? Oh, it's this mobile thing, isn't it? It's deployed mobile stuff. That makes sense. How are we doing on primordial colonization? Okay, it's done. Reporting in. Right, we're capturing more derelict loot. So I'm not sure what these things are, but it looks like maybe it's stuff left behind after time. It seems to give a lot of upgrades there. So it's got more... Oh, I gave the raw things. Okay. Ah, okay, so we've got stuff here. Nice. Yay, new colony. So this is where the orbit system will get a bit confusing. As you can see, most of my planets, we started all the way over here, is now shifting around the star. So I'm not sure if this is a mechanic some people are going to like or they're going to hate. Because it will get confusing. That's my only concern. It will get confusing very early on. So yeah, like what planet I was even... I was this one? Yeah, but now it's changed so this is in the middle. <laughs> it is very confusing. But also I think it can be good at the same time. So it is what you make of it, really. Look at the star base we got. What else can we do? We can do an offensive or defensive overhaul. Let's do that. Uh, we've got docking booms. Starbase beams. Auxiliary hangar. All the things. A big ship just walked in here. Portal Devastator. Look at that. Are we on pause a second? That thing is getting attacked by a lot of our ships at the minute. That must be either the minor faction. Oh no, this is one of the other big factions. A battle cruiser shooting beams, apparently. Will the ship escape? It's going to FTL. We are going for the armor. It's going to escape properly because it keeps recharging its shield. Yep, it's gone. And it jumped down to this planet. We could go chasing it, to be fair. Oh, no, another one's coming. Because the hyperlanes are changing, these destroyers are coming through our system. That's concerning. Where is my other shipbuilding planet gone? Is it this one? I don't actually know anymore. I'm now, I'm now confused with my own stuff. However, we've got access to more capital ships. We've got dreadnoughts, battle cruisers, more battle cruisers, battleships. Let's build a dreadnought. I kind of want that. Let's build two capital ships and a bunch of other stuff. Let's build another fleet, essentially. More crystal is needed. There we go. We can see our big ships are under construction. Where's Icarus, my HQ planet? I just want to make sure this one's upgraded, really. Something just got blown up out there. There we go. All right, Icarus, I want you to have an auxiliary hangar. And we need all the other stuff you need as well. Ooh, a transport cabal. I spent influence on you. That will be over there. Okay, so we technically have met them. Well, well, this is Sins of the Solar Empire 2. This is my quick overview of the game. It is very, very interesting so far. There are a lot of new mechanics to play with. It does in one way feel like a spiritual successor to the original Sins of the Solar Empire, which was released 
so so long ago um so this is definitely something i think many of you are going to enjoy if you enjoy the original sims like i said there's a lot of features to get used to the orbit mechanics here where the planets are constantly moving around i'm not sure if i'm a fan of that just yet but i think it is a bit more realistic to some space warfare if you think of like star trek or star wars when you can warp your planet from any direction or ftl from like any direction you've constantly got to keep like a blockade and things like that and that's kind of something in keep in mind of the traditional sins you could blockade is that coming towards my home planet oh no it is what the hell's that oh devastate it's just walked up my hq but this could be the end very soon um but yeah there's something to keep in mind there with what you do in the game i think it'll be is it just launched a missile towards my planet uh-oh looks like pdcs are engaging it yep they hopefully engaged it oh my god it's launching other stuff um oh no my base Anyway, as I was saying, there is a lot of new features here. It will take some getting used to for people. Um, I think in due time, you'll get used to it with what Sins of Solar Empire 2 can actually offer you. Uh, but do let me know what you thought of the game. I do appreciate this is a very long sort of overview of the game. I am definitely going to be playing it a lot more. And a big thank you to Stardock for actually giving me an exclusive preview build of this. Um, I'm hopefully going to see it with some other content creators soon. And we can check out the game together. All right, it looks like that's not going to destroy my planet. Happy days. All right, everyone. Well, thank you very much for watching this video. Do let me know what you think of Sins of a Solar Empire 2 down below in the comment section. I've been Captain Jack. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time. Goodbye.